Hey, hey, hey! So today we are doing a, another book review. So I have ventured out um, beyond Lisa Jackson and um, beyond mystery thriller and, and, and back into romance, which who doesn't love a good romance novel? So I tried these out because I kind of have red hair. Um, it's not like fully red. It's more like a strawberry blonde or an auburn blonde because it's not like strawberry. It's, it's a little bit darker than that, but it is kind of reddish blonde. So I found this book and um, I thought, you know what, we'll give it a try. It is one of three. It is by Alice Clayton and it is called The Unidentified Redhead. So let's go ahead and read the synopsis. I do like hardcover books because they have the, you know, the little thing um, on the inside. Book jacket, but okay. There, there's still a thing on the back, so that's good. All right, it says, watch out, Hollywood. Grace Sheridan is back. Ten years after discovering that looks and talent are, dime a, are a dime a dozen in Los Angeles, she's wriggling into a pair of badass jeans and ready to show the film industry that there's way more to her than just a head of gorgeous red curls. And Hollywood's newest Brit super hunk, Jack Hamilton, certainly sees a lot to like. Grace is trying to restrain herself from jumping a man who is nearly a decade her junior, but Jack is making it clear that he personally has zero problems with that idea. While Grace and Jack are still swapping innuendo-loaded quips and text, text sex, though, the paparazzi have caught up with them, headlining the unidentified redhead who's been photographed trysting at a restaurant with the heartthrob of the year. Now Grace is stuck in a double. Now Grace is stuck in a double bind. She's head over heels in lust with Jack, but there's her own career to think of as well. A sizzling romance with the newest it boy may garner her industry attention. But is it the kind of attention she's always dreamed of? So, uh, one interesting thing is that it says on the back, it talks about the author, and it says Alice Clayton worked in the cosmetics industry for over a decade before picking up a pen, read laptop, and starting a whole new career as an author. She worked in the cosmetics industry for over a decade, which is 10 years, before picking up a pen and, and writing a book. This book is so well written. Um, is that a little cheesy? Yes, it is. You know, is the little romance between Grace and Jack, is it, is it cheesy? Yes. Um, do you go most of the book without them even having sex? Yes. Um, they, they do everything but like penetrative vaginal sex, if that makes sense. If you know, you know. Um, they do other things. They don't just do full on sex. And, um, so obviously when they do finally have sex at the end of the book, it's obviously like the, the climax I think pun probably intended, um, of the book. And, um, it's, it's a very, very good book. It's very touching. This is somebody who, um, the character, she used to be pudgy, a little, maybe a little chubby, maybe a little heavier, and she'd lost some weight and she was feeling herself. Now, first thing I have to say is that, um, I hate romance novels where the big girl has to lose weight before she gets the guy. Whether the guy is saying, I'm not going to date you until you're, you, you know, you lose 50 pounds or 100, whatever it is, right? I'm not going to date you till you're thinner. Or whether it's, you know, um, maybe, you know, he was her bully in high school, right? And she's like, I'm going to show you. And they get out of high school and she goes and she gets fit and she starts to take care of herself better and, you know, do what she needs to do. And she's looking like freaking fantastic. And then they meet up at the 10 year reunion or whatever. And, um, you know, and then all of a sudden they're just like connected. I, I, I hate that. I hate that because I'm like, no, if you didn't like me when I'm fat, you don't get me when I'm skinny. Okay. I don't know if I'll ever be skinny, but let me tell you something. I did lose 70 pounds before in my life and there were, it's interesting how differently people treat you when you're heavier compared to when you lose a lot of weight. And, um, you know, my thing is like, if I ever do get down to the appropriate weight for a woman, my height and age, um, you know, if, I'm sorry, if you can't look my way when I'm fat, you're not going to get my attention when I'm skinny. You know, if you can't handle me at my worst, you don't get me at my best. That's, that's kind of, you know, my thoughts on that. Um, but this is obviously, you know, somebody she meets fresh and new and she lost weight because she wanted to get healthier. It wasn't like driven by romance or, you know, by some guy. Um, you know, she's doing, eating better and exercising and all of that good stuff. Um, it's, it's very well written. It's a very, very nice romance. There are three books. 
I am currently on the second book. Um, this book has, it's a very, very spicy novel. It's a very spicy novel. Um, so definitely read this, it, you know, in, in, you know, a place where you can, you can read spicy stuff. Um, maybe don't read it at work. I don't know. I don't know. You know, I mean, if you have people looking over your shoulder, really don't read it at work. There's no like pictures or images in here or anything like that. But um, just keep that in mind. It's a very, very spicy, sultry little book. Um, I think that the humor between them, it's, it's, it's so realistic. Like the dialogue, I feel like in this book is extremely like realistic. Like it's stuff I can see myself saying, I can see other people saying. It's stuff I can see like a real person saying to another absolutely real person. And I really like that. And if you think about the author being in the cosmetics industry and now she's a writer, um, she's a much better writer than that triple, triple chocolate cheesecake murder author who um, was like a, a chef and then became a writer. So I don't know. It's, it's very well written. I feel like it can be awkward as a writer to write sex scenes um, or even like just scenes where they're intimate. It's hard to, to do that in a way that is realistic, but also enthralls the reader and, you know, like gives you that, that feeling in your stomach. And this, she did a great job. She did 100% great job. So um, this book is basically like how they met and their kind of relationship um, towards the end of the book. She She's a singer, right? She wanted to be like on Broadway. She wanted to be in plays and things like that. Um, she gets a part, her best friend and roommate um, gets her an audition for this play, this production, this musical. And um, she ends up getting it and she has to move to New York. And so he lives in Los Angeles. The Her beau lives in Los Angeles. And uh, by the way, they're only nine years apart. He's 24 and she's 33. So that's not that big of, of a deal. I mean, it, it's, it's made a big deal in the book because um, she feels so much older. And I do think being in your early 20s versus in your early 30s, there is a big difference, right? But, it, you know, I, everybody's over 18. So I'm kind of like, it, it doesn't matter, right? Um, it's just, it's very realistic. It's very touching. I feel like it's, it's, it's a really good book. You guys, I'm going to give this book a five out of five. I highly, highly, highly recommend it. If you like romance novels, um, you know, if you're not in really into that, there's not really much mystery here. It's just pretty much a straightforward, um, maybe a rom-com, a romance comedy. There's a lot of comedy in here. There's a lot of um, jokes and quips and people ragging on each other um, you know so there's no um, there's no graphic well there's there's some graphic sex scenes but there, there's no gore in this there's no um, extreme vulgarity there's no like bullying there's no like making fun of or like there's nothing in this book that I feel like would be triggering there's no SA at all there's nothing um, it's it's pretty straightforward it's, it's just a fun loving romance um would love to see this in a movie actually really love to see this in a movie anyway but this is a very good book i'm going to give it five out of five let me know if you have read the unidentified redhead by alice clayton or any other books by miss alice clayton um it says usa today best-selling author of wallbanger definitely gonna have to check that out because i really like her writing style um you know which i i am partial to when i write i write like horror fiction and like some a little bit of romance but like i'm better at the, like the horror part and like the you know that that side of it the scary parts of it the dark parts of it i'm definitely better at that than i am the romance so i you know and i think there's there are two separate talents right and um so it's nice to be able to like i have an author that i go to for that or a couple authors and then i have I found this great author. So um, I'm very excited to read more of her books. Let me know if you've read anything by her, what you think, what you like, what you didn't like down in the comments below, especially if you read this book, if you've read all three, if you've read two, whatever. Um, please keep the spoilers at a minimum. I am only on the second book, so please don't spoil too much for me. But um, yeah, really like this book. Highly recommend it. So like this video. If you like this video, subscribe if you haven't already. Ring that bell icon to get notified whenever I upload a new video because you never know what kind of content is going to pop up over here on this channel. I thank you all so, so much for watching. I love you all very, very much, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!